Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem twenty three in chapter twenty four. Chapter twenty four is about capacitance, dielectrics, electric energy storage. So in this system, we have three capacitors, C one, C two, C three. Now we need to determine arrangement of the parallel and series connection with the twelve volts battery to get the minimum voltage drop across the two. Micro F capacitors. So in this part, we have C one, C two, C three, three capacitors, right? And we need to make the two micro F. So this one is just a C one, right? So we need to make the C one's voltage drop is a minimum. So how can we consider that? We consider for the capacitor C one, if we want to make the voltage is a minimum, that means we must in make the capacitance. Equivalent capacitance maximum. Do you agree? Yes, because it asks the minimum voltage. So that means the C must be maximum because it's a charge. We couldn't change it, right? So that means in this connection, we need to make the equivalent for C one. This part, the capacitance is maximum. So increase the capacitance in the circuit. We can consider the parallel connections, right? If we do parallel connection, we just add two capacitors together. So we can see we can choose the C three because the C three is larger than C two. So C one plus C three is maximum. So the C one and the C three can do the parallel connection, right? And that it, the requirement ask us do the arrangement of a parallel and a series connection. So must be one capacitor do the series connection. So we choose C two as a parallel connection. Correct. Yes. So now we determine the arrangement. C one and C three power connection. C two is a series connection, right? This is is just to satisfy the requirement to get the minimum voltage drop across the C one capacitor. Now ask you what is the minimum voltage drop? That means you need to find V one, right? Because we can see for these two capacitors, V one equal to V three, and then this is for capacitor C two is V two, and we also know V one plus V two equals to the source V. This is twelve volts. Agree? So now it looks like we must find this V one. How can we? It's not easy to get it, right? But we have a way. We can use V naught minus V two to get V one. Agree? Yes. So if we want to solve it, we need to get the capacitance for this circuit at first. So you can see in this circuit, we can consider C one and C three just become a equal another capacitance, and then connected. Series and do series connection with C two. Do you agree? So that means the equivalent capacitance for this circuit just you uh, just uh, do the series connection with C two and C one three, right? And C one three power connection. So use C one plus C three. Agree? So this is the equivalent capacitance for the whole circuit. Agree? So this is a.、Uh, Power connection C two with C one three right, and then just use this equation. And C one three is C one plus C three. So in this case, you can get equivalent capacitance for the whole circuit. The next one, as we talk about, we need to find the V two, and then the V two we can use the Char total charge Q over C two and C two is given. So look looks like we need to find the charge Q. You can see how can you find the charge Q? The charge Q can write as the equivalent capacitance times the V naught, right? V naught is a source. Agree? Because the charge in this、uh, main stream equal to, come to the C two equals at the this、uh, main branches, right? Main branches, so the Q equal to equivalent of capacitance times V naught. So now you can see we can write the V two as Q divided by C two, right? Input is the Q inside. We can see we get function look like this one.、Mm -hmm. The next one we see the V one is just use V naught minus V two, V naught minus V two. So input V two inside. And then input the C equivalent inside. We get the function for V one, 
So now we can input all the given quantities. Get answer zero. Thank you.